Well, hey everybody, what, what, what the heck is going on here? What, what is this backdrop? Why is there a surfer guy behind me? Why is there this weird little towel cubby behind me? Why have I already put shaving cream on my face? Oh, oh that's right. Fridays are new stuff. Time for new things. And today, I'm in Southern California, Santa Monica, within walking distance of the Santa Monica Pier. If you don't know where that is, neither did I until about an hour and a half ago when we drove in from Los Angeles. But uh, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do much of a shave because the setup is weird and the family and everything are in the room and if they hear me in here talking to myself, they're gonna call the cops on me. And you know what those LAPD cops are like. They're gonna come in, they're gonna, they're gonna knock me down. So what I thought, I started, I, I haven't shaved yet, I just put this on my face, but what I started to think was, well, maybe I'll just do a quick one, and then maybe I'll try to have a hangout later, maybe from the Pacific Ocean, tonight, later tonight. Um, yeah, I don't know what time it is, oh, what time is it, wait, sorry, it's 5 o'clock p.m. L.A. time, so Eastern Standard Time, and I'm just going to shave real quick, see what happens. So what I did, because I'm traveling, I decided to bring some easy stuff, easy stuff that I know works and is able to be packed. Um, I brought the caffeinated shaving cream and I brought the caffeinated aftershave, both of which I like to use, you know, fairly regularly. I brought my, my little uh, synthetic brush that I like to use and I brought the trusty Rockwell with a feather blade. Actually, I think there's a Bic blade in here. So we're just gonna do a quick little uh, shavy boom. I'm gonna try to figure out, oh, there we go. Try to figure out how to do the sink so that I'm not wasting water. Gotta fill the sink with some water over here. And the mirror is over here, so I won't be able to talk to you like I normally do. I'm gonna be, you're gonna be seeing my, a different side of me. But uh, I, gotta, I should've filled this up beforehand. This is very impromptu. So I'm just gonna let this run for a minute while it fills up and we'll start shaving. Okay. Well, it's weird not to have the camera right in front of me. Is it weird for you to watch it like this? Leave a comment, won't you? There, I think that's good enough. All right, I can do this. I can shave into the camera. Oh, look at that. I'm actually looking into the camera as I shave, as if it was a tiny little mirror. Thanks, iPhone. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try that. That way it's not so completely different. Well, it's kind of making me, kind of making me seasick doing that. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right, let me do this. Yeah, oh, that's better. So how's the lighting in here? Does it look good? Is it more flattering? Do I look like... Like I'm a sun, sun-baked California surfer? No, no, like I said, I just got here an hour and a half ago. And I gotta tell you, the second thing we did after I dropped off the in-laws and my wife and my older son at the hotel to check in, my youngest son was in desperate need of vampire teeth, plastic vampire teeth. Um, I don't know why, but he just started talking about it yesterday when we were at the airport. And so, bless his heart, he went to every little shop in the airport and asked them if they had vampire teeth in stock. Of course, none of them did. And, uh, but that was the cutest thing. He just needs some vampire teeth. That's all. I'm gonna put some more water in the sink because this sink is kind of weird and square and I'm not, not you know, getting stuff off there well enough. Ooh, this is, since I'm out in LA, I drove past the Hollywood sign today, I feel like this is a two camera setup. This is like a two camera shot. So sometimes I look over here, sometimes I look over here. It's, uh, it's Hollywood, I've gone Hollywood. Okay, that's all there is to it. So what we did was we drove in, we drove down Sunset, turned right on La Cienega, took that down past Pico over to the 10, then to the 10 West, all the way down to the beach. <laughs> Sorry, that's a, that's a Saturday Night Live thing, the Californians, where they're always talking about the highways. That's the thing about being out here. I've never been to Los Angeles before, so it's cool. I'm going to wash my face off and uh, lather up again. Is that, I'm going to look in the camera here. Is that I've heard the names of these streets. It's kind of like going to New York City. Your whole life you've been watching Hollywood movies, TV shows, where they mention streets and neighborhoods. Like Wilshire, I was just on Wilshire Boulevard, right? We drove past the Hollywood sign. We saw the Hollywood Hills, you know, that kind of stuff. We drove past the Chateau Marmont. None of these things I've seen before, but I've heard about them my whole life. So it's really cool to be able to see it in person. 
And now I'm down to the Santa Monica Pier, which I have not seen yet, but I didn't shave today. We, uh, um, we did, what did we do? Oh, we went to the, the Modern Art Museum today, which I wasn't necessarily interested in because we just went to the Modern Art Museum in New York City. And truth be told, I'm not a big modern art fan. Some of it is cool. And I was an art major in college, so I know all this stuff, you know, I'm familiar with it all. But the Broad Center here in LA was really cool. The building itself was an architectural marvel. It was fantastic looking. Check it out on Google, the Broad Center, B-R-O-A-D. Just an unbelievable looking building, inside and out. So it was like the biggest work of art they had was the building itself, it was really cool. So then, we ate at a little, an old school diner in downtown LA called the, I think it's called the Five Cent Diner, or the Nickel Diner, I, I, Nickel, the Nickel Diner. Real old school kind of place. It was very good. Kids had burgers, I had a salad, trying to be healthy, you know. I had granola this morning. I woke up in California for the first time, I had a craving for granola. I'm gonna go get a cleanse later. And then my Asian is supposed to call and tell me about that audition. I actually do have an agent back in Austin. <laughs> Not out here in L.A. I need representation in L.A. That's what it is. So any uh, artist, uh, any, any agent, talent agents out here in L.A. want to represent me? Get my voice on uh, one of the new Star Wars projects? Give me a call, okay? SinatraLennon at gmail.com. That's where you can reach me. That's where anybody can reach me if you want to ask me something or send me something or, you know, that's where you can get me. All right. Hey, I'm doing it. I'm actually shaving in a weird bathroom with a surfer guy behind me. That's gonna. That's a picture of me, actually, from a little earlier today. All right, I'm gonna do one last touch up because I think it's just my older son out there watching YouTube on the TV. They have one of those smart TVs where they have Netflix and YouTube and all that jazz. But anyway, <clears throat> if you're in the Santa Monica area, let me know. I'm gonna, if, I, if I'm not too tired, I'm gonna try to go and have, because the kids will go to bed kind of early, and then I'll be ang you know, anxious to, because we went to bed pretty much, we flew in late last night to LA, didn't do anything, so we just went right to bed. So tonight I kind of feel like I wanna get out and take a look around. We saw a lot of LA today. We drove a lot. Traffic wasn't too bad for us. Although I saw some sections that we drove past, which was terrible. Traffic in LA is, as you may have heard, very bad. But it wasn't too bad for us. My wife actually used to live here back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. She worked in the, uh, in the industry as a costume, you know, worked in the costume department on a couple of movies, TV shows. She worked on uh, David Lynch's Mulholland Drive. She worked a little bit on Babylon 5. So she knew the place, and so we got to see her old house. It was really cool. Over in uh, Silver Lake. I just like saying these names. I like saying La Cienega. I don't know why. That's my favorite, La Cienega. Went down Sunset Boulevard. We drove down there. Drove past the Viper Room. So, um, yeah, so as long as I'm not too tired, because I was doing all the driving, I, we had this big Dodge Caravan that I was driving, which I've never driven like a big, like, you know, eight person van or whatever it is. Uh, then I'll be uh, trying to go down to the Santa Monica Pier area and have a little live hangout, at least for a little while, kind of like I did in New York City when I was up there last. That was kind of cool. Let me wash off with some cold water. Ah. Oops. Knock it over. Knock it over toothbrushes. <laughs> if you have never heard of George Carlin before, 
Check out his routine. I think it's called A Place for Your Stuff, where he talks about stuff. And like when you go on a vacation, you have to pack up a smaller version of your house and take it. And then when you get there, you gotta put your stuff here, you can put a little stuff there, put a little stuff there, then you can feel at home. And then when someone calls you and says, hey, why don't we go and spend the weekend at my house? And then you gotta pick up a smaller version of your stuff. Anyway, I don't do it justice. Check out George Carlin. This is a very show busy episode, so thanks for sticking in there with me if you're not interested in all this nonsense. All right, caffeinated aftershave. Here we go. See, I could look in the little camera and do this. I think the lighting is slightly more flattering in here. Kind of need all the help I can get, folks. I think that's it. Oh my goodness. 11 minutes. I was, admittedly, I was halfway. <clears throat> I'd already lathered up and all that stuff, so I apologize for, uh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to even do this at all, so. <clears throat> I'm glad I did because I don't wanna skip a Friday just because I'm on vacation. And maybe it'll be slightly more interesting for you to, to watch a video like this of me in a different place, seeing what it's like. I know I always like to watch uh, YouTube videos of people that are out doing different stuff and kind of like do it vicariously through them. So um, I guess that's it. I'll clean up. You, you guys don't stick around. I'll clean up later. And uh, yeah, so um, this is going up now. Uh, if, this, if you see this after now, after the day I uploaded, then check and see if I did that hangout down at the Santa Monica Pier. <clears throat> and that's it. So thanks for joining me. Um, thanks for joining me on these travels. I will do another one on Monday because I'm still on vacation on Monday. It'll still be here in this hotel. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.